Good evening from the Municipal Auditorium in Kansas City. I am Dorothy Ridings, the president of the League of Women Voters, the sponsor of this final presidential debate of the 1984 campaign between Republican Ronald Reagan and Democrat Walter Mondale. Let's begin. Ms. Geyer, your question to Mr. Mondale. Mr. Mondale, two related questions on the crucial issue of Central America. You and the Democratic Party have said that the only policy toward the horrendous civil wars in Central America should be on the economic development and negotiations with perhaps a quarantine of Marxist Nicaragua. Do you believe that these answers would in any way solve the bitter conflicts there? Do you really believe that there is no need to resort to force at all? Are not these solutions to Central Americans' gnawing problems simply again too weak and too late? I believe that the question oversimplifies the difficulties of what we must do in Central America. Our objectives ought to be to strengthen the democracies, to stop uh, communist and other extremist influences, and stabilize the community in that, in that area. To do that, we need a three-pronged attack. One is uh, military assistance to our friends who are being uh, pressured. Secondly, a strong and sophisticated economic aid program and human rights program that offers a better life and a sharper alternative to the alternative offered by the totalitarians who oppose us. And finally, a strong diplomatic effort that pursues the possibilities of peace in the area. Mr. President, in the last few months it has seemed more and more that your policies in Central America were beginning to work. Yet just at this moment, we are confronted with the extraordinary story of a CIA guerrilla manual for the anti-Sandinista Contras, whom we are backing, which advocates not only assassinations of Sandinistas, but the hiring of criminals to assassinate the guerrillas we are supporting in order to create martyrs. Is this not, in effect, terrorism? No, and I'm glad you asked that question because I know it's on many people's minds. I have ordered an investigation. I know that the CIA is already going forward with one. We have a gentleman down in Nicaragua who is on contract uh, to the CIA advising supposedly on military tactics, the uh, Contras. And he drew up this manual. It was turned over to the agency head in, of the CIA in Nicaragua uh, for, to be printed and a number of pages were excised by that agency head there, the man in charge, and he sent it on up here to CIA where more pages were excised before it was printed. But some way or other, there were 12 of the original copies that got out down there and were not submitted for this printing process by the CIA. Now those are the details as we have them. And as soon as we have uh, an investigation and find out where any blame lies for the few that did not get excised or changed, we certainly are going to do something about that. We'll take the proper action at the proper time. I was very interested to hear about Central America and our process down there, and I thought for a moment that instead of a debate, I was going to find uh, Mr. Mondale in complete agreement with what we're doing, because the plan that he has outlined is the one we've been following for quite some time, including diplomatic processes throughout Central America and working closely with the Contadora group. So I can only tell you about the, the manual that uh, uh, we're not in the habit of uh, assigning guilt before there has been proper evidence produced and proof of that guilt. But if guilt is established, uh, whoever is guilty, uh, we will treat with that situation then and uh, they will be removed. What is a president charged with doing when he takes his oath of office? He raises his right hand and takes an oath of office to take care, to faithfully execute the laws of the land. A president can't know everything, but a president has to know those things that are essential to his leadership and the enforcement of our laws. This manual, several thousands of which were produced, was distributed ordering political assassinations, hiring of criminals, and other forms of terrorism. Some of it was excised, but the part dealing with political terrorism 
was continued. How can this happen? How can something this serious occur in an administration and have a president of the United States in a situation like this say he didn't know? The question before you comes down to this. Do you want to see America return to the policies of weakness of the last four years? Or do we want to go forward marching together as a nation of strength and that's going to continue to be strong?